Now let's talk about measures and master items. In the previous example with the population data set, we were using the sum of population, right? And now we are using the count of ID. Just like in Excel, sometimes we need to aggregate the data of certain columns in the sum or bring the maximum value, bring a count of something. So here we have the count of IDs. Each one of these IDs are unique. So we don't have duplicated values. Let me show you the difference when we count the number of states first, and then how can we remove the duplicates to only see the unique state. So I will bring here a KPI. I will find the state column and count the number of states. So we have the same value because the count here is bringing the number of records in the state column. Okay. But that's not what we want. We want to know how many states we have in this case, right? So we need to remove the duplicated values just like we have when we add a table or we, when we add a filter. For example, let me add here a filter with the state list. We don't have multiple values for each one of these states. Each one of them is listed only once, right? So if I click here, I will see that we have 16,000 records for this state. But now I want to know how many states we have. So clicking here, instead of leaving the count of states, I will have to add here the distinct operator. Okay, so I will click here. And before the column name, I will add this word, distinct. This will remove the duplicates from this column, from these records. And now we can click apply. And we'll see that we have 49 states listed here. All right. Let me click here in done editing. So if I start selecting them, so if I select, for example, three states, we'll see the distinct count as three. And these three states have 70,000 records. So we already know how to sum values and how to count values as well. Just like in any other software, we can multiply or add values to these uh, measures. So let's say that we want to add one in here. I can come here to the expression and type plus one. Now, if I apply selection instead of three, we have four. I'm doing a simple math here, okay? If I want to multiply this by two, let me go back to the previous expression, which is, will result in three. I will now multiply it by two. So instead of three, we have now six. Let me click here to just show you what we did. So we have the original expression. And we have now three states selected, but we are multiplying this by two. If I change this to 10, let's click apply. We'll have 30. Let me click here in dot editing, remove the filters. So we have 49 states, but I'm multiplying this by 10. So we have 490 in here. So this is a very simple example, okay? And we can use this, we can save expressions in master items. So we have this option here when we create the measure or the dimension, but we can also create it from here. So if I click here in measures and in create new, let's now create the count of ID. So I will put here accidents. We can add a description so that the end user will know easier or when we have multiple or similar measures, we can add a description. Our expression is the count of IDs, right? So let me click here, apply. And the label expression could be something else. For now, let's leave it like that. The number format will be a number without a decimal place. And now I will click here and create. Let me create a new sheet now. So I will click here, create new sheet. Now I will add a chart. Let's do it again. So let's bring a bar chart with the states. But instead of typing the expression again, I will click here to add a measure or here. And our master item is already here on the top. So if I click on accidents, we already have the expression. So it's much easier and I can do the same here. Let's now add a line chart. The height of the line or our measure will be the accident number. 
and the line will be the month year column. Let's sort it according to the date. Putting again that minimum expression, so minimum of start time. Then let's add again a KPI. So now we have the master item applied to these three charts. And if we want to multiply this or edit this value somehow, let's say that we want to divide this by 1000. We can come here in the master item, click here to add it with the right button. There will be a warning to tell us that everything we change here will change in the other visuals that are carrying this master item as well. So now if we divide this by 1000 and click save, the three charts were updated according to this measure. So that's why we save expressions in master items because it's easier to edit them if we have to multiply, divide, or change something in the expression. We can do the same thing with dimensions. So I will go back to the previous page. We saw that I created here a column with city and state in the previous version, right? In the, in the previous example. Let's create this master item. So I will create click here in the dimension, create new. Now we have to find first the city column and concatenate it with the state, right? This is the expression we had done before. So I will click apply. I will give it a name. I'll call it city state. Now let's just click create. Okay. Now I can close this. Let's go back to the other page. And now if I bring a bar chart again, I will add here in the dimension, the city state, which is the master item that we just created, and also the measure, which is our master item. If we come back to the options and change this, this chart will also change. Now let me go back here to the previous page to show how it works when it comes to visualizations. So we can go back and any of these visuals that we create, we can click with the right button and click here to add it to the master items. So if I click here, I can type the name of this chart, like accidents by city, and add it to the master items here in the visualization. So if we create another page and we want to bring the same chart, we can just drag it in here, and the same chart will be in this page. If we need to add it, we can add it from here or from here. For example, if you want to replace this measure, I can delete it and bring the master item that is right here. We'll have the same result. Click here when we are done. And now we have visualizations, measures, and dimensions in our master items.